Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to you, Akim, out there that's pushing this world in truth and sincerity. It's going to be a jam mess to the point, you know. I've been about to desire you, I came out there that's sincere, will be edified. And with that, I'm getting straight into it. This is um, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 5. Over Syrian, the rod of my anger. Now, this was directed towards the, the ancient Syrians. But now, the modern day Syrians are you Edomites, man, the so called white men. Y'all are the modern day Assyrians, man. And y'all are the rod of the Most High's anger. It says, over Syrian, the rod of my anger. Because the so-called white man is the wicked. And King David said in Psalms 17 verse 13, Deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Now we know that Esau, the so-called white man, is the wicked, pursuant to... Um, Malachi, the, the first chapter, the fourth verse. And we know that through Job 9.24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked who run the world. Esau right now is in power of the whole world, man. He's in control of the whole world. So Esau, the so-called white man, is the modern day Assyrians, man. It says, and we read it again. Um, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 5. Over Syria, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. What's that staff, man? That sword. That's why King David said, deliver me from the wicked, which is that sword. Now Esau was given the blessing of the sword, man. So therefore, the Most High's whipping stick is Esau, the so-called white man. The Most High have Esau, the so-called white man, that controls the four corners of the earth. He have given him the power. And Esau. The so called white man. Has been using that sword. To the best of his ability. Look what he's doing throughout the four corners of the planet earth man. Esau has also used that sword. Esau to being the so called white man. Edom has also used that sword to afflict. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, which consists of the children of Israel or the sons of Israel, man, from our perspective tribes. They have been afflicting us since they came back into power during the time of the Renaissance. So it says, um, back in um, Isaiah chapter um, 10, verse 5, over Syria, the rod of my anger, and the staff in their hand is my indignation. That word indignation means righteous anger. And that stab that's, that's in Esau's hand is the modern day gun, man. The whipping stick of the Most High, man. Why? Because we sinned against the Most High. That's why we are put under Esau. And Esau is in control right now, man. And he's doing the Lord's work. Verse 6. I will send him against an hypocritical nation. Because... You Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man, you're straight hypocrites, man. You claim that you love the Lord, but yet you're homosexuals. You claim you love the Lord, but yet you're lesbians. You claim you love the Lord, but yet you committing adultery, being gangbangers, selling drugs, doing all kind of manner of wickedness, man. Not observing the high holy days. When you see the prophets of the Lord on the street, you scoff and you scorn. When you come across a video from Great Millstone or any other group out there, what you do, you get on the comment board immediately and start scoffing and scorning, man. It's, so you're hypocrites, man. You're claim, you, you're, you're claim to be Christians, wacky tacky Christians, believing in Renaissance Christianity and plantation Christianity. But yet, you'll come up against the prophets that's telling you that you are the true, the children of Israel, man. You are the true Israelites, man, the biblical Israelites. You are the Jews, man. But what you'll do, you'll come up against the prophets of the Lord and you'll scoff and you'll scorn, man. So it says, 
I will send back in Isaiah chapter six, chapter ten, verse six. I will send him against. I will send him who's Esau against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. And two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans are the people of the Most High's wrath. The Most High going to fuck y'all up, man. Rock Jah ain't right in the spirit. The Most High going to fuck y'all up. Then the time of martial law. Then the time of Jacob's trouble. You understand me? It says, for out, say out back in on Isaiah chapter ten verse six, I will send them. I will send him Esau against a hypocritical nation. You Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's a part of the two thirds. And against the people of my wrath, will I give him a chance, a charge? It says, and against the people of my wrath, will I, will I give him a charge to take the spoil, and to take the prey, and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? And that's exactly what Esau, the so-called white man, is going to do during the time of martial law. He's going to tread you Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans down like the mire of the streets. Look what's going on in Venezuela. Esau is doing a whole, a real good job over in, in Venezuela to them Asherites. He fucking them Asherites up. Why? The most sides using Esau to whip the shit out them Asherites. Why? Because they worship pagan deities. I'm telling you, man. I'm not telling you. The scriptures are telling you. The most High is about to put the spirit on Esau to show his horns to come into these ghettos where you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans dwell like a flood, man. And he's going to fuck you niggas up, man. And with that, this was a great millstone. Um, GMS to the point. Abu Ratzayu Akimate was edified. And with that, hey, Shalom.